Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. Check out these cool candles that I got for a dollar each at the dollar store. These are really neat and they look good, especially for the holidays. You can use them for Halloween or Christmas. There's one problem with these and it's these, the batteries. You know, each one of these takes two batteries and then what do you do? You keep replacing them and put them in the landfill and it just makes e-waste, right? So I have a solution for this and it's to convert these to use your USB power from a computer or television or even a USB battery. And it's not hard to do and you can use this technique to power other devices as well using your USB devices. I plan on mounting these near my television set and another set near my computer and I can just plug them in and not worry about batteries. So hang out with me and I'll show you how to do the conversion that's coming up. Okay, so let's get a better look at this uh, candle light. See what we have to work with here. Again, I got this at the dollar store. So it's built much like a flashlight. And if you pull the base off here, you can see that this is just a base and that would be where the bottom of the battery would go. So we can run our wire up through here by drilling a hole, more on that later. Let's go ahead and take the top of it off here. Now, if you look here, you see two rings. The one ring, the middle ring, is for the positive DC voltage, and the outside ring is for negative. If we look into the tube, we can see that there's a spring down in there, much like a flashlight. So what happens is, of course, your batteries just go in here like this. Now, the first thing that we have to figure out is how much voltage does this bob take? Now, if this uses two ordinary AA cells in series like this, then we just add together the voltage. So one and a half volt for each would be a total of three volts. So we know that this candle, this light, takes three volts to operate. So we know that we're going to be powering this from a USB on a computer or television and the standard for a USB is 5 volts DC. So what we're going to have to do is convert this 5 volts USB to 3 volts to operate the candle. 5 volts if we didn't regulate the 5 volts and we just sent it through here it may damage this bob. So again what we must do is convert the 5 volts DC USB power to the 3 volt battery. How can we do that? So here's a picture that I drew of something called a voltage regulator and the actual voltage regulator is only about as big as this dot right there that I drew and I'll show you an actual one in just a moment. The thing to know about voltage regulators is even though there might be different sizes and types and brands, they all do the same thing. They take a higher voltage, convert it into a lower set voltage that you can use to power. Now this particular one, the 1117 AMS chip, delivers 3.3 volts regulated output. So if I put my five volts into this, out comes 3.3 volts. Now I had said that our candle run on three volts because of the two batteries, 1.5 times two is three volts. So this is a third of a volt over but the LED circuitry will not mind the extra third of a volt, so it's not that uh, critical. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I plan to hook this up real quick. So here's a diagram of the actual wiring. This is the USB port down here, and that, this is just the symbol for a USB here. So we're taking the five volts from the USB port, we're putting it into pin three, which is here. And then the ground from the USB port is going into pin 1 here. And then out comes out of pin 2 are 3.3 volts, which will run to the, the candle. And then over here, I've just shown where we're actually going to share 
one voltage regulator and divide it between two um, LED lights. So we'll only need one of those. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual voltage regulator and then we're gonna begin wiring it up. So let's do that now. So what you're looking at right here is an entire strip of voltage regulators and each one of these bumps is an actual voltage regulator and you can see how small they are. Now, as I had said earlier, there are other types and styles of voltage regulators. Now here's a standard one and you would use this in a through hole like in a circuit board. And this one, the small one is actually a surface mount voltage regulator that's often used with automated equipment. Now the advantage of using this one is there's bigger pins and it's easier to solder whereas this one is very small and we'll get a look at it in a minute. But really this whole strip only costs less than 10 bucks and I probably have 50 to 75 voltage regulators here. So the cost is very little and they're very handy for other projects. So anyway, now that you've seen the voltage regulators and styles and sizes, let's go ahead and um, start putting this thing together. Inside the USB cable, there's four wires and the black and the red one are the ones that we're concerned with. This is the positive five volt and the negative. And these are two data lines and we don't need them. So we're just gonna cut them short and terminate those. We don't need them. And we'll just strip these back. So now I'm going to get a piece of heat shrink tubing and put it over the entire joint and that'll take care of this junction so I don't have to use a little box or anything. So I'm just going to fold this up neatly and then slide the shrink tube over the ends here. So there's our connection to the computer and then the two wires come out and go to our candles. So what we have to do now is put these to the candle. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to solder directly to the center and the end here on these metal pieces. That won't be a problem. What we have to do is get the wire up through this base. So we're going to drill a hole right here in this base and this spring can come right out of there. We won't need that. So let's go ahead and take these two bases and drill some holes in them, run our wire through, and then solder our connections to the actual lamps. Now you might want to put a knot in here for strain relief. That's always a good idea. If somebody pulls on the wire, it won't yank it out. But uh, because I took the batteries out of these, 
they're a little bit light and I need some weight to keep this from tipping over, you know? So what I've decided to use is this stuff. This is just modeling clay, you know, like kids Play-Doh. So we're just gonna take a little bit of this Play-Doh and jam it up in there to give us some weight. And that will also surround this wire so it won't want to pull out. So I'm just going to take little bits of this and start shoving it up in here. And again, you can buy this modeling clay, this Play-Doh at, you know, the dollar store. So everything's a dollar and you probably will have when you're done, you know, maybe three or four dollars into this project. But these lamps will last you a long time and you won't have to use batteries. And once that dries up, that'll harden up, you know, and give us some weight to our base. Let's test these out. Well, as previously mentioned, I always like to test with a USB battery rather than try something in my computer. I don't want to blow out the USB port. Whereas this, if it shorts, it'll just shut down. And here it is, there's my voltage regulator going out to two different candles. I've got plenty of wire so I can put these candles on each side of my television or computer. And I can use them year after year. Let's go ahead and test them and see how it works. So look at there, works great. And no more batteries. Let's get them in place and see how they look. I like them. So take a look at the lounge that we've been working on for our shop here. This is a place that we can just come and take it easy and talk about the day or make plans for different shows. And it's just a cool place to relax. And inside here is where we put the candles right there near the TV on each side. And the USB power is just plugged into the television. And the nice thing about it is this is the remote for the television here. When I turn the television off, of course the candles go out because they're plugged into the television. So that works out well and saves power. So yeah, we plan on building some walls around this area. It's a nice place to just come and take it easy. And I'll probably document putting the walls up if that's something you might be interested in watching. Let me know in the comments. And make sure you leave us a thumbs up if you like this video. We'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to look out for our ghost meter episode that's coming up real soon. That should be fun, looking for ghosts with our meter that we got off Amazon. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.